Hi, I'm Hanbo, and this is my story. So personally, I would say I am a pianist, composer, and singer. But I am also basically a part-time arranger and producer. And I write in so many different styles. I write in classical style, popular style, new age, world music, international, whatever you want to label it. But the point is, at the end, it's very hard to put the fine line and say, this is what I am. Because I should have, you know, in the very beginning, just said I'm a musician. That's what musicians do. We create music and we create it how we feel it. Um, and so many times in my experience, meeting different people, and showing them my music. I'm always asked the question, what type of music do you write? What do you perform? Well, what is this music? And then I find myself spending a long time explaining what it is that I'm actually doing. And it's very difficult because it crosses so many different genres. And yet they want a very, very specific answer. So just recently, I finally met someone, a very renowned critic. He listened to me. And in the middle of my explaining, he stopped me. He said, there's one word for what you're saying, and that is the word bridge. Right? You, what you're doing is bridging all the different types of music. You don't have to specify, I'm doing this style, I'm doing this style, I'm doing this style. All you're doing is doing what a musician does. Right? It bridges everything that they've heard, they've learned, and they have knowledge of. And if you think back in history, as I recognize afterwards, it's really what's been happening through our history. All over music history, music has been combining elements of different styles in its time period. And I feel like nowadays, today, we're starting to almost uh, reject that or try to shun away from it. And we want to very clearly separate what each genre is and who belongs into which genre, what kind of music belongs into which genre. And I think it almost shouldn't be so clear. So I feel like music really is something that is understood by everybody because it has no language, but at the same time not fully understood by anybody completely because we can't know exactly what the composer is trying to say because there are no words. And yet I feel that there's so many people that feel like they can judge is this good music, is this bad music, or you know, is this music uh, written the right way, when in reality there, there is no right or wrong, there's no good or bad music. As long as the music sends a message, and it's very convincing, and it touches somebody's heart, then it's great music. So, I feel like the music I composed today, and the success I've seen so far, has been largely attributed to my classical training. Just the depth of knowledge I've learned, whether it's the history of music, you know, analysis, theory, everything, all of that has carried into every type of music I've written. Mm -hmm. And the difference really in terms of performance, yes, the, the music that I write is definitely shorter, probably not as intense technically as a normal classical piece, but I find myself playing it with the same attitude as I do in a piece of classical music. How I phrase you know, different lines in the music, how I control the different balancing of different voices, and all the training I've had in classical music, it's all been used inside uh, playing of this uh, crossover kind of style I've been writing. The person I now I listen and evaluate and look into a lot right now is Hans Zimmer. I really enjoyed looking deeper into the works he's written, especially well, if you want me to name a work, like his work Time from Inception, you know, the way that he's able to create a full five minute piece that really at no moment loses the listener. But then once you evaluate it, he's using the same progression. Minimalism, basically, which we've learned. And the fact that he's able to vary the structure so much and make it such a well-received and liked piece of work using such a, in such a small figuration of a chord progression. Okay. The idea comes randomly. Um, 
sometimes trying to find the idea is the hardest part. Once I find the idea and I structure it, it takes around two hours to finish a piece. I just feel that whether it's you're a musician or a non-musician, in this world filled with so much music, don't be so restrained, I would say, by what kind of music you should listen to or you should create, or what kind of music you sh is not good to create or not good to listen to. I think that with so much music in the world, you'll always find what you're looking for. And you just have to always follow you know, what you feel is the best music that creates from inside you. not judged or deemed by anybody else. And that's one of the dangerous things about music, um, that, like you mentioned, it could be you know, judged too heavily or there's too much competition. And I wish that something like this will not blind us for how we should do music, how we should go at music.